and walk you through the tool i just want to make sure you know the best process of transforming a simple image into a fabulous one first imagine how you want your product to look so for example if you are showcasing a perfume bottle think of placing it with flowers on a stylish table or a neat white bedroom setup if it is a woman skincare product you want to choose a mirror in a wardrobe with a pink background with some flowers to evoke that tender caring vibes so if you already have that vision in your mind great you are pro now let's turn that vision into reality for this demo i'll be working with a perfume bottles let's see how can we make it a brilliant one so the tool name is chapter.ai and this is how you can reach to the website chapter.ai that's it you can log in with the, your any of your email or you can just use gmail once you log in this is how it's going to look like and uh, i just tried with a couple of my personal images so let's start a new project so on the top you see there are like projects so you can click on on this plus sign and it asks you to upload the image in this case i'm going to upload my perfume bottle images okay so i'm uploading uploading my perfume bottle images so it's going to ask you to generate an image for a bottle of liquid so if you want to generate a similar or i think um, if you want to generate the same image you can click on generate or if you just want to edit it with like more options if you want to remove some part of it if you want to enhance that image then you can do it from here or simply you can just do the generate so in this case i'm generating a new product and i could see here on the top it says a bottle of liquid so i'm fine now on your dashboard you can see like three things where you have to work on one is generative gallery second is generative board and the third part is here on the right middle part so these are kind of a tools where you can do a lot of uh, you can play around so that's about pointer move fit view plus and minus is zoom in zoom out the main part is here which says add new slot so we are going to use a lot this part so first let's go to the very cool uh, feature of chapter.ai which is generative gallery so if i click on generative gallery it's going to show me like creating a texture theme with background images that means it has already created a lot of images of your product with multiple different backgrounds so let's say so these are different background images or the theme you can try for your bottle of liquid so let me go with uh, mountain view let's see and just wow look at these images i never thought it will look so cool so those all the i mean those bottles they placed it on the top of the mountain with properly highlighted the shadow there is a sun coming from the behind the mountains and my entire background is blur it looks much better the same way you can try with different uh, with different themes it's a uh, green leaves sunset rain autumn snowy rain rainbow grasslands river waterfall so my product is, is a perfume bottle so it's more about uh, creating a pleasant environment and make the people happy so i just would like to check one more thing which is let's say river so i just you have to click on the river theme and that's it the ai will generate automatically nice images with that river background let's see how does it look okay so i could see the river in background images uh, if you want more you can click on generate and it's going to generate more images for you on the same theme and you can check them here okay it looks good uh, you can download directly from here and if you really like it you can just like that so it's going to start coming into your library okay looks cool so that's a generative gallery the second important feature of this tool is generative board where you can do a customization for your product so i'm going to start something with a background so here you can choose your background you can write a prompt and it will generate the background based upon the prompt or you can just add any reference image and it will generate the similar image and create the background then you can use your product to merge it with that background 
and it will do nicely. So I'll start with the prompt. So there's a new the box which is open here. So if I click here on the left side, I can see enter a prompt. If I click on the prompt, I could see a different generated background images. So I can select any of them if I want. So and it automatically writes a prompt for me. So let's say a cup is what I selected. Okay, so let me check. Okay, I want the leaves as my background. So I'm clicking on the leaves. It automatically return a cup on marble, black space, leaf shadows, tropical, scene, jungle. I like to add something. I just put it a high quality and that's it. You can just increase or decrease, decrease the prompt strength and just click on generate. Let's see how it's coming up. Okay, so that's my background image. Now, if you are not satisfied with it, you can just click here. It's the sidebar pop up. It's again going to open up. You can select any other and it will keep creating for you. So let's say I just create one more, which is a garden. Let's say let's click on it. Okay, so our second image is also ready. Now, let me select this image. So I'm clicking on it, doing select and it's already selected. If I click on the image again, it's opening a two option. What is synthesized product? So now it's going to blend my image with this background. For that, I want to make some changes. So I want to remove this upper tunnel of gene and the glass from here. So I'll click here and I'll select remove object. I'm going to highlight the entire portal. Okay, so I highlighted a both object which I want to remove and keep on remove. Let's see. It's opening a new bar where it's creating a new background image. All right. So I have my new image background. I still see this uh, some part of the bottom which are still here. So I'll just do it one more time. Okay, okay. So my background image is, is ready completely. So what I'm going to do? The next task is synthesize my product with these background images. So I'll make it smaller in size, put them here, make them a little bit taller. Okay, looks good. Let's see how it is generating for us. And here we go. Our first product with background image is ready. Looks really cool. If I need a similar transformation and I just want to see uh, like how different it can generate, or if I'm not happy with this, if I want to make any changes, I can also try with more transform. Let's see. So here I can just write it down. I just want the same one with the flower and I can heat on generate. And let's see how does it creates our second image. Okay. Meanwhile, you can also check. You can just download from here. If you want to remove the object, you can do it from here, upscale, everything is here. You can also delete the entire stream. Okay. I really like this one. It looks really cool. So yes, so that's the power of Checkter.ai. It's really cool. You can just convert our product into a amazing image with the simple three clicks. So, okay. So let's create one more. This time we'll start with prompt. So the sidebar is opening like this. Okay, let's start with new with the new background image. It is a new background. So yeah, this time I use uh, my custom prompt. So I put the nice forest view, river, and neat tabletop to place the product. And this is how it's generated. Looks awesome. So what is my step? I'm gonna select it as my background image. Then it's gonna ask me like if you want to synthesize with product. I would say yes. I'll select my product. I'll place them here, maybe a little bit bigger this time. And uh, here, if I want to just turn them around, I can do it. If I just want to put them into center, I can use that. But yeah, I mean, this looks good. Let me see how, does, how it's creating my new image. Okay, so this is my done uh, product. So I can just click here again to the upscale, remove object. If I just want to download, I can just download and use it for my websites or on I can put them directly on Amazon 
Flipkart, eBay, any of the e-commerce websites. So uh, that's about Jekta.ai. It's really cool tool if you don't want to spend a lot of time and money in transforming your images. Use this tool. I just want to show one more things which I did with my product logo. So it's not only about the product images. You can also uh, do a lot of play with your logo as well. So here I used my three feet product logo and see how it generated so many images with the logo. So I hope you like this video, you like these tools. Please let me know in the comment uh, how is your experience. And if you need a review of such more AI tools, please comment down below. See you next time.